about to, it would appear, explode onto the race course. Several are keen to take a handy position as they approach the tapes. And they're off and racing, and several appeared keen to want to go and make the running, including Overturn, who bounds towards the first with Michael Flips and Frontier Dancer, Border Castle, Tito Bastillo and William Hogarth as they arise at speed at flight number one. Tito Bastillo towards the outside didn't take it as well as some. Eradicate Gloucester held up in company with Palomar, who's a little keen in these first-time blinkers right at the rear of the field. Overturn ignores flight number two, flattens it, but continues on in the lead from Michael Flips and the noseband towards the inside, William Hogarth racing keenly. Border Castle, Frontier Dancer and Tito Bastillo as they rise to the third, at which William Hogarth and also at the back of the field, Palomar made mistakes. So hardly blemish free in the jumping department, the early pace putting pressure on jumping as out in front, overturn leads with a circuit to travel. Horse with a white face. Michael flips in the cheek pieces on the outside of William Hogarth, green and orange. Border Castle the stripes from Tito Bastillo. Having jumped off front rank, Frank Frontier Dancers now midfield, racing on the inside of the Irish Lady Hillingdon in the blue and white colours. Then towards the inner is first point, head of Eradicate, red with the white sleeves. Gloucester comes next, yellow with the black disc. Then Arcalis and Palomar in the pink and mauve checks at the rear of the field. So the pace has just paused slightly as Overturn on this long run with a pair of left-hand bends leads them on towards flight number four. Overturn from Michael Flips towards the inside is William Hogarth. Border Castle and Tito Bastillo, the next two, from Lady Hillingdon, who's out a little wider on the course, in company with Frontier Dancer. First point niggled along in about eighth place at this stage with Eradicate, Arcalis Palomar still towards the rear of the field, in company with Gloucester, as Overturn leads them over the first flight down the back. Palomar is being niggled along, the horse with the white sleeves, and likewise the grey Arcalis and first point. So a few of those just feeling the pace at this stage, although they have gone quite quick, as Overturn reaches flight number five. Again, he is awkward over it. Border Castle also made an error. First point jumped into the back of him, and Border Castle has lost a bit of ground as Overturn leads Michael Flips. Towards the inside, William Hogarth. Eradicate, improving smartly in the red and white colours. Tito Bastillo and Lady Hillingdon are still there, as Gloucester is another to improve as they take the last on the far side. First point is struggling. Frontier Dancer ridden along, then Palomar and Arcalis. So it's Overturn still scuttling along in the the lead by two lengths from in second Michael Flips reminder for Tito Bastillo eradicate still travels better than most red and white colors from Lady Hillingdon then Gloucester who's also the one that's made good progress from the back of the field in yellow and black Arcalis past beaten horses William Hogarth next frontier dancer and Palomar the two that are tailed off a first point and also border castle but still overturned pouring it on under an aggressive ride it's gone six clear Michael Flips has given up the ghost Gloucester surges out of the pack into second place as Overturn is Gessie at the third last. Eradicate then Tito Bastillo and Lady Hillingdon. So towards the second last flight, it's Overturn from Gloucester who often travels powerfully in his races. Arcalis is also staying on from well back. Eradicate landed in third from Lady Hillingdon. A faller back in the field was Michael Flips. Overturn from Gloucester whose resolution is now put to the test and all of a sudden Overturn's keeping up the gallop. Gloucester jumped the last well but still has three lengths to find. Then Lady Hillingdon to Arcalis and Eradicate, but Overturn continuing on the running stoutly from Costa. Arcalis is staying on, but this under an aggressive front-running ride will be an all-the-way win for Overturn, who lands the hat-trick for Donald McCain and Timmy Murphy. Gloucester once again found little off the bridle in second. Arcalis was third, tied for fourth, Eradicate, Frontier Dancer and Lady Hillingdon. back here at Newbury it's good to have Kieran Fallon with us and Kieran I wasn't here at Newbury and back here at air Timmy Murphy rides the winner and uh, the young Don McKay hey you went about 100 miles an hour there all the way well Jason said to ride it like I left my brain in the way room and that's what I did <laughs> a lot of the credit goes to him he taught me exactly how to ride him yeah of course, that man there doesn't do a bad job. And that man there behind you is Don McCain, and here, of course, where Dad's Red Rum had so many successes. Ah, uh, Magic Tom, I'm absolutely thrilled. He's, he's, he's a really smart little horse, and we weren't making the best of jobs of him at the start of the season. Yeah. Um, turn himself inside out and say, there's a lot there's a lot of work gone in from everyone, and it's just a shame Jason's not here, obviously, but... Um, yeah. Where is he? Magic, he's banned today, for banned, banned for giving a horse an absolute peach for a ride at Haydock, you know, but listen, that's... That's rules. Not a lot we can do about it. It's a terrible shame. Now, Red Rum 74, what about 2010? Idle Tour. 
Uh, yeah, look, I mean, we, we, to be honest, we, we'd aimed to go to the cross-country race at Cheltenham. They took to the place really well. Unfortunately, he didn't get in. We've come here because there's not an awful lot of options. He's been placed in the race before. He's fitting his well. He's had a good break, which really suits him. So, I don't know, we'll take a punt and see. Say him all. Good luck, Don. Cheers, Tom. Thank you.